In a perfect world, in 178 days, I will graduate high school with all my best friends, countless memories, and a bit of sadness as the prime of my life is coming to an end. But this is, and I will be able to reminisce about the late nights with friends, Friday night football games, and all the trouble we got into. But this is not my perfect world. In 178 days, I will be walking across the stage at graduation, claiming my title as valedictorian. I'll be able to reminisce about the late night studying, being called a trying hard, and watching all my peers have fun at school while I sat back and did my work. It took me all the way to the start of my senior year to realize I wasted my high school years by prioritizing my academics far more than anything else. First, I want to clarify some misconceptions. I do not regret my work ethic. To get to the place I am today, I had to work incredibly hard and I am so proud of how hard I have worked. I just wish I would have been able to work hard without sacrificing other important aspects to life. When I told my parents they did for my TED Talk, they said, well, that isn't true. You need to do well in school to reach your goals. While that is true, it's not relevant to my next step in life. For reference, I have plans to be a doctor when I'm older, so yes, I have to do well in school, and yes, I have a lot of school. But the part that I've continued to overlook for years is the idea that my high school GPA does not matter. The only thing it does is get me into the college I'm shooting for. Many universities, you need a high GPA to get accepted, but in my case, I never had any intentions of going to a large, prestigious college where I would have to build some impressive resume to even be considered. Yet, that is exactly what I did. I spent these past four years taking the hardest possible classes while maintaining a 4.0 GPA and participating in countless extracurriculars. Some, for example, being track, soccer, HOSA, SAVE, AMP, Girl Scouts, and NHS. And next year, I'm going to UW Lacrosse. I'm not saying that Lacrosse is a bad school because I'm so excited to go there, but I did not need the resume I built to get in. With that being said, when I'm at Lacrosse, that is when I need to build an impressive resume to get into med school. The point of me telling you all of this is to show the idea that my high school GPA will not matter when getting into med school, which is my future. It only mattered for getting into my undergraduate program and my grades far surpassed what was necessary. Now that you all know my background and a little bit about my future, I can now explain the claim that I wasted my high school years. There's a lot of different aspects to high school and one of the main ones is definitely the social life. I can say that I missed out on the whole social life aspect because of my academics. When I first transferred here my sophomore year, it took me a really long time to make friends. Yes, this had to do with my shyness and half the year being virtual due to COVID, but it mainly had to do with my undivided attention to school. When I tell you I didn't talk in school, I did not talk in school. Any second of free time I was given, whether that be in flex or in class, I immediately started doing my work without saying a word to anyone. And I actually have a great example of this. We all know Aiden, better known as Gilly, and I've actually been in his advisory since sophomore year. I never spoke to him, and I don't think he even knew what my voice sounded like till this class started. And I can guarantee there's a lot more of you in this room that have had very similar interactions with me. School was never a place to have fun and socialize. It felt more like a job than anything. And because of this, I lacked social connection. Although it is easy to overlook, social connection can be more damaging than obesity, smoking, and high blood pressure if you don't have enough of it. Humans are social beings and we crave that social interaction. It's even more essential in today's world as we see screens and technology be, be yet another barrier between people. According to the Canadian Mental Health Association, uh, building social connections can lower anxiety and depression, lead to higher self-esteem, and actually improve our immune systems. It took me all the way to the start of my senior year to realize that high school has more than one purpose. Yes, academics are important, but there's a lot more lessons you have to learn about making friends and working with others, all of which I missed out on. Another thing I missed out on was the memories. Who likes hearing stories from their relatives about their youth? I know I do especially, but when I had to look back and think about memories from my high school years, I couldn't think of one story worth telling. And I don't think it's because I'm a boring person, because I'd like to think I'm interesting, but it's just the fact that nothing interesting has ever happened to me because I've never given it the opportunity to. Building off of this, I missed out on taking fun classes. I've always been so stuck taking the honors classes and the AP courses 
that I never got to take that art class or the culinary class or any kind of elective in general. I mean, I thought the class of medical terminology was a blast where I got to memorize hundreds of vocabulary words a week. And hands down, this is the most fun class I've taken, even if my semester final is doing a TED talk. Because of my laser focus on school, I missed out on actually paying attention to enjoying myself during the time of my life where I should be having the most carefree fun. A long lasting and almost irreversible effect of this academic validation that I've spent years searching for is the idea of perfectionism. You might be wondering, what's wrong with perfectionism? Yes, this trait can self-motivate a person to achieve great things, but it can also be a fast track to unhappiness. This trait becomes so toxic when the intended desire for success turns into avoiding failure. And failure can be anything that isn't perfect, which we all know isn't actually failure. For example, it's like when someone says, oh my God, I'm gonna fail this test, but we know they won't get worse than an 85. But what we don't get is that 85% for that person is what they consider failure. They set unrealistically high expectations for themselves and are far too quick to find their mistakes and be overly critical of them. Perfectionism becomes a problem when it leads to many more issues. Over the years, we've seen a rise in cases of perfectionism, and with that, we've seen an increase in mental illnesses. There, with perfectionism, it makes a person have extremely low self-esteem while also lacking confidence. It can also lead to anxiety and depression, OCD, and possibly eating disorders. Over the years, I have experienced these highs and lows of perfectionism. My mood has 100% been dictated by my academic success. If one of my grades drops to anything below an A, I turn completely unhappy, and it's not until my grade gets back up to what I think is acceptable that I turn back into myself. Not only has this been a strain on my mental health, but it's also been damaging to my physical health. It has given me unhealthy eating habits where I would eat, not eat because I thought it was a distraction or I just didn't have time. It has also altered my sleeping schedule. It's important for teenagers to get eight hours of sleep a night, but there were more nights where I was getting three hours. It was so common for me to roll out of bed, my eye bags being my most defining feature, throw on a pair of sweatpants and get ready for another long day of school. Eventually this would all catch up to me as I can commonly be seen with a cold and always just feeling awful. Striving for nothing less than perfect has serious life modifications on a person, and an even scarier thought to think about is moving into the future. What am I supposed to do in college when I get my first B? At some point, I have to accept the fact that perfect isn't always attainable, and that could be really hard for me to do. Perfectionism is a career living behavior that can really hold a person back in the pathway of their career. If I am unable to accept this fact, I might not be able to continue down the pathway of being a doctor. This was able to get me through high school and even make me stand out as a stellar student, but when it comes to my career, I will need to prioritize my learning over my grade. Throughout all of this, I've learned that you need a balance in life. There needs to be a balance between work, school, relationships, mental health, and overall well-being. They all need their own time and attention because without that, it's hard to live a well-rounded life. I've experienced that when you spend too much time on one thing, like I did with school, it completely throws your life out of whack because balance is super important to living a happy and healthy life. Another thing I learned is that you do not need a 4.0 to be successful. There are far too many people out there that didn't get a 4.0, didn't get close to a 4.0, or didn't even graduate high school. Although for some people their grades are key to their academic success and success in general, it's not the same for everyone. The measurement of success is different for everyone and it's determined by what they need and how they want to get there. Building off of this, no one will ask who the valedictorian at your high school was because it doesn't matter. Yes, it is a great honor and if I get it, I will be incredibly proud, but is my one day of proudness and bragging rights worth everything I had to sacrifice to get there? I'm Speaking with my dad, who is a successful business owner, when he interviews people, he doesn't ask what their GPA was in high school or what high school they went to. He's more interested to see their social skills and hear about their experience. Even when I've interviewed for a job, they don't ask me what my GPA is. They don't care because it isn't important. It's not a good testament to how smart a person or how hardworking they can be. 
I remember back in sophomore year, during honor sophomore English, Ms. Hanlos always preached, grades aren't everything and getting a B is okay. If only I could tell my 15 year old self that now, right? But the main takeaway from school should always be the learning that happens and the grade is just a little tag along that really holds no importance. But with that being said, you should always put an effort to present your best work, but you shouldn't let working hard take away from everything else you have going on in life. So now I know there's a lot of irony when I say I want to be valedictorian, but I want to be valedictorian. I want them to show for all of my years of sacrifice and hard work that I put into this. But now, if in 178 days, if I get to walk across the stage and claim my cliche title, I'll be able to accomplish a goal I set when I was super little, and I'll be able to look back and reflect upon the lessons I have learned. I now know the importance of hard work. I now know that social connections are essential. I now know you don't have to be perfect to be happy. I now know you need a balance in life. And I now know that your GPA doesn't matter because you are not your GPA. This is how I wasted my high school years. Thank you for your time.